Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and you're observing what seems to be a red luminous nova. It's a kind of a supernova, not as powerful as an actual supernova, but a lot more powerful than a nova. It's basically an explosion when two stars collide. I've talked about this concept previously, but today we're going to be talking about an event that will actually occur in about six years from now, in 2022, and it's going to be something that you may want to keep your eyes open for. Welcome to What The Math. So a few days ago, a person by the name of Christo Delof, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, messaged me with this really cool article that I completely missed myself. A professor by the name of Lawrence Molnar from Calvin College uh, actually had this really interesting lecture where he used a model of a previous red luminous nova to describe what may actually happen to two stars about 1800 light years away from us. Now, you may not know how far away this is, so I'm going to demonstrate this by going into near and bright star simulation where we have the sun and all of the near and bright stars that are basically around our solar system with some of the farthest ones like this one right here being relatively far away as a matter of fact i believe this is actually 386 light years away and this one here is even farther at about 800 light years away but we're actually going to a distance of about um, 1800 light years, where there are a couple of stars by the name of KIC 9832227, which is basically a designation for this binary system of two stars that are known as the contact binaries. Basically, it's two stars that are actually kind of touching each other. Right now, before I place them here, let's go and uh, create the visualization of these two stars. So. And these two stars kind of look like this. Basically, they're orbiting around one another. One orbit takes about half a day, and uh, they're a little bit smaller than the sun. Uh, so if I were to place the sun here, they would actually n be not as large as our sun. But nevertheless, they, they are stars, and one day they're going to collide and basically create a boom. Now, the interesting thing about these uh, two stars that are located in this uh, so-called Cygnus constellation um, is that uh, they are showing the signs that we've seen before from another red luminous nova that happened um, back in 2008. And this was a star by the name of V1309 SCO or V1309 Scorpio. Uh, this merger was observed in 2008 and these two stars are showing exactly the same signs. They're getting brighter and brighter. So basically here the actual luminosity is increasing, which I don't think I can do it this way, but I can do it by increasing the temperature, right? There we go. So the luminosity of these stars is slowly increasing, and you can become, you can see it's becoming more luminous right now. Well, okay, not that luminous, but luminous nonetheless. And their period is slowly becoming faster and faster. In other words, they're actually slowly increasing the orbital period. In other words, they're moving closer to one another. And so they're moving faster and faster and faster. Well, maybe not that fast, but at some point they will be moving this fast. Now, because they're so close to one another, they're known as contact binaries. In other words, their actual atmosphere or the solar atmosphere is actually kind of touching. And because it's touching, they're slowly, essentially slowing each other down. And as they're doing that to each other, they're moving closer and closer together. So we can kind of demonstrate this by decreasing the speed here and here slowly until they come closer and closer to one another. And this is basically exactly what we observed uh, back in 2001 to 2008 with the other star known as V1309 Scorpio. We've observed just exactly the same uh, change in period, the same change in luminosity, and at some point, essentially, this is what happened. Now, this right here is a supernova. But in reality, what will happen is what's known as a red luminous nova. It's not going to be as bright, it's not going to be as powerful, and at the end, it will actually leave a star behind it. So after this explosion, there's actually going to be still a star left in the middle that's going to be quite bright, quite shiny, and is going to essentially combine a lot of materials from the previous two stars. But nevertheless, there's going to be a very beautiful red nova that will actually be very likely visible with a naked eye. As a matter of fact, according to the scientists that are studying the star right now, we'll probably be able to see it from Earth, even um, on a somewhat 
bright night or in a somewhat light polluted area. So this will happen in 2022 and it sounds really exciting. So let's actually try to create all of this in uh, this other simulation known as near and bright stars by placing the star right there at a distance of about 1800 light years. And now what we're going to do is we're going to basically make it go supernova or I guess in this case red luminous nova by clicking the explosion button and then observing the effects from our own solar system. We're going to go back, go back to the sun, maybe place the earth around here just for the realism effect. And let's go to earth and observe what all of this may look like in 2022. Now this is still not exactly a 100% accurate prediction, so maybe just maybe this might not even happen, but all of the signs are pointing at the fact that the supernova or the red luminous nova will very likely occur and very likely create a very interesting increase in the luminosity of the star. Now, it's not going to be super bright. You're not going to see a huge red cloud in the skies, if that's what you expect. But you will definitely be able to see a very bright star in the sky that might actually be somewhat red in color. And we actually expect it to happen sometime uh, between September 2021 and September 2022. And it may last for about um, a few weeks, actually. And you'll be able to see that red luminous nova in this location right here after maybe a few more months. It's still currently invisible, but it is slowly coming out and it's going to be visible relatively soon. And although it's not as impressive as you might have expected, right now after a few years, you can actually kind of see there's a tiny little bright dot in the middle of the circle. That's essentially that red luminous nova that we've created um, using the simulation exploring the star 1800 light years away from us. So in other words, it's not going to be dangerous at all. It's not going to be scary at all. You might even completely miss it actually. But those of you who will look into the skies, uh, into the direction of constellation Cygnus, especially if you have binoculars or a telescope, might actually be able to see something as beautiful as, as this. Because this is essentially what a red luminous nova might appear like uh, for at least a few weeks. And so right about now, I'm actually going to stop this because this is essentially a very realistic representation of what you very, very likely are going to see in the skies. You're not going to see um, a huge red cloud, as I mentioned, even though this is a very powerful, very large explosion that's currently something like several light years. Yeah, three and a half uh, light years in, uh, in radius, which is basically like seven light years in diameter it still is going to be relatively invisible because basically it's so far away from us. So 1800 light years is pretty far, but let's actually zoom into it and let's see what it actually looks like in reality. So this is what it's like and this is what it's going to be doing as it expands. But once again, don't forget that this is actually a supernova, which is a lot more powerful and will grow much larger. A red luminous nova will not become as large, but nevertheless, it is going to be just as beautiful. And anyway, so that's all I really wanted to mention in this video. So now you know a little bit more about what Red Luminous Nova are and might even witness one yourself in 2021 or possibly 2022. If the scientists are correct, this is going to be quite a spectacular thing to see. And I'm definitely going to be watching the skies just like you. And anyway, if you learned something from this video and if you enjoyed watching it, do not forget to subscribe and possibly come back tomorrow to learn something new because there's always something interesting going on on this channel and if you actually want to support this channel more consider supporting us on patreon because it does help me get better equipment to make better videos anyway i'll see you guys later space out bye bye and something like a hundred years later we can kind of finally tell the color and the shape of that supernova that i've created that was a long, long time, and it's actually still growing, but this also shows you how insignificant supernova can be if they happen really far away from our planet. We might actually completely miss them. Anyway, see you later.